Hey, welcome back to MED, and as promised, this week we're going to look at dry decking. Okay. So, Steve, where are we at? Okay. A few different ways of doing it. We'll run through the basic, most common way first. This is a sewing grade. Sorry, it's so grotty, but it's the only one we've got to show you at the moment. This one's had the whole board, and it's had a spot face machined on the face there. So yep. basically, the spot face seals on here. It's located by this diameter. Yep. Two small screw holes, five millimeter, drilled and tapped to hold it in place. Is that something you do on the mill then to machine? We that normally is? stand the head up upright on the milling machine. Yep. We then plunge in, we bore through, and then we put the spot face in with the spot face cutter. It's quite a big job then. It's not so much a big job. On the milling machine, you've got to swing the head, swing the table round to get the drop. Yep. And then you've got to swing the head round to get it over where the head is. And so it's it's a time consuming job. Okay. Especially on a one-off. Yeah. If you're doing a big batch of them, then yeah, it's a bit different. So then we've got the U-bend. Okay. Basically, you, you'll have this one, as we've just put it in. You'll have another one that goes into the core plug hole I'll on show the you, block. show you that in a minute. Okay, we'll go there. Yeah. And then, literally, pipe. There's no Jubilee clips there. <laughs> but basically, that's it. Yeah, with some clips on there. Yeah, we even put a little flange on the end just to hold the pipe so they don't You don't off. really want that popping off. No. Okay, and then the head gasket over here. Okay, two or three ways of doing the dry decking itself. You're trying to stop the water coming through the holes from the block into the head. Okay. You can either plug the block, plug the head, or use this clever little thing that we've got, which is called a dry deck gasket. Yeah. We have these for the plus 20, 40, 60 bore and 73 and a half bore, so either or. Yeah. What you'll see is, normally there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 holes which transfer the water from the block through the gasket into the head. They're not there there okay. in that gasket. Therefore, you don't need to do any plug-in. I think we need to go and have a look at an engine. So we okay. pause that there a sec and head into the workshop. Two secs. Okay, back in the workshop now. Yep. Here's one we built earlier, multi-web. So we'll just flick this one over, we'll just have a look at the adapter position first. So, from there we will go to... So obviously this is being the front of the block at the Mini, and uh, where, your, flywheel. where your flywheel goes on there. So, this is where the other adapter goes. Normally Needs, a core plug. Normally a core plug has the adapter in, drill and tap, two holes, adapter fits in there. Yep, okay. okay. Spin him over a little bit further. So the same as on the end of the head? And it yes, goes round exactly the same. And you have your uh, U piece, something like that. That's right. But more, more rubbery. Okay, what you'll see now is now you can see all the holes we were talking about. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen holes need to be plugged if you don't use this gasket. Okay. So that's the easy way to do, is to use this gasket then. That's right. And supposedly that's reversible as well because you can still use the engine as a non-dry deck engine. Exactly. If you want to convert back, core plug back in, plug in the head, yeah. take that out, conventional gasket, back to square one. And that's a cheaper way of doing it as well. Right. These are expensive, but doing all that then facing the block, facing the head, it's expensive anyway. I understand. You said to me before about you could perform a so-called semi-dry deck. Okay, this is what people do for historic appendix Ks. Try and dry deck it, but not dry deck it. So basically, what you're trying to do is get the water, instead of coming in from the water pump, and straight out of one, two, three, four holes, straight up through the head and out. Yep. So this water now is coming in here cool, it's cooled this cylinder and it's gone out. Right. So it's done nothing. Yep. It's done 25% of its job. Yeah. You want to try and move the water down to this end of the engine. Which is the whole point of the dry decking, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. To even out the temperature along the... Send the water in here, it goes all the way through, out of there, through the pipe, back through the head. How much hotter do you think it would run on cylinder number one? On dyno tests, we've found from here to here with a conventional gasket, 10 degrees. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite something. If you're already pushing it anyway, then mm -hmm. you need Just to... Just a quick intro yep. there yep. we did do a water pump test on the dyno on Monday we ran the engine at seven and a half thousand on the dyno yep. with a conventional water pump on we then took the belt off and ran the engine to seven and a half thousand without the water pump running five bhp gain there you go just 
Yeah, just to say, because there's a few people not really believing us, and we're not making this it stuff up. I was tested on the dyno yep. by myself on Monday, 5 bhp at 7,500. Yeah, on, anyway. the, on the full rally engine. Yeah. So, uh, what haven't we covered so far? So, we just go back to this plug in effect. What they do on the FIA appendix Ks plug, 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 plug. No water now can come in here, yep. up here. Okay. So, now it's driven along here. Okay. So, people have said, why not plug that? And then you've got half of it. Yeah. It gets to a point where you're not getting the water flowing back into the head if got you it. go any further in here. And you start to get hot spots, I suppose. Exactly. Along here. So, okay. if you're not going to dry deck it and you want to semi dry deck it, as we call it, one, two, three, four brass plugs. Yeah. And use the conventional gasket. Okay. That does help. And this works with inline as well as yes, mini? Yes, on the inlines. The only downside to the inline, normally you've got the gearbox with the bell housing on, which bolts up onto this face. Yeah. So you have to relieve the bell housing around that area to get the adapter in. But it does fit on a midget. And just a couple of other small mods that you need to make to around where the engine steady goes. Yes, your little the engine steady. Once you put the, uh, the adapter in, the flange on the adapter just slightly interferes with this front hole. So you just have to relieve the adapter slightly. There Apart from that, it's an easy fit. Perfect. Thanks, Steve. Okay. And thanks for watching.